Well, hey there. Hey, so we are getting started with our fun little open house today. I just love it. Hey, I just love every time we start a new project. There's always so much energy and passion behind it. So um, I thought, well, I looked through every sketch and there's so many cute things we're gonna do, but I thought this might be kind of fun because there's a huge snowstorm outside and I just thought, um, what I want to do is like take off. <laughs> I would like to go someplace where there's some green. I really would. So um, I was looking through and I saw these images that I had um, sort of saved out. I had just collected these off of the internet of little VW buses. And little VW bugs would be so darling for this too. But I thought these VW buses, that way we can go together. Yes we can actually just go on a little adventure together. So just, you know, going along with the theme of traveling brightly, we can just take it upon us to um, make up a little piece of art that kind of celebrates, you know, just uh, traveling and doing things with, you know, light and brightness and happiness and joy and, you know, God's goodness just pouring out of us. How about that? Do you like to do that? Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Let's do that. So, um, it's so easy to start these little sketches. What we want to do is, and I know you're like, oh my gosh, Janelle has a ruler. Well, I do because this project is one of the projects we're going to be doing on a wood block. Now, you do not have to use a wood block. I will tell you this. You can just use um, your art journal, you can use a canvas, anything you want, anything that you want. But I'm going to be using a wood block for a lot of our projects um, mm -hmm. for this specific workshop. So this is just a regular wood block, just like this one, that I have covered in book paper. See that? Book paper and gesso. Thin layer of gesso, thin layer of, um, this would be a dictionary, a sheet of dictionary paper and then another thin layer of gesso. It's ready to go. It's perfect for painting um, either watercolor or acrylic, okay? So what I have done is decided that I'm either gonna use it this way, my wood black, which is, so it would be just a hair over six inches, or I would be using it um, vertically, okay? So I just thought, oh my gosh, to help myself, why don't I actually give myself an idea of how much space I have that I can use. <laughs> That's novel, right? That would be a good idea. So I'm just going to get in here and on this little sketch, I'm just going to do um, a vertical sketch, okay? Using our super fun little uh, photos here, I'm just going to work off of this idea. Now, anytime we start a new project or a new workshop, we always start with big loose shapes, right? So this one, the same thing. We're just gonna start with a big loose circle. Who knew a VW bus was a big circle? <laughs> just a nice big circle to get us started, right? And then um, if we kind of check out the shape here, make sure you have your eraser handy. This is kind of the bottom of our sketch. So this is kind of where the bottom of our little bus is gonna be. It's got no ground clearance at all. So little guys clear down here at the bottom. Give them a little couple tires to stand on. And bef before we get started here erasing these lines, I'm actually gonna do some of the basic shapes. So we are just going to use our, this is in my sketchbook with a mechanical pencil. Just going to get these windows in and everything is so round. Everything is so round on these VWs. So we've got a kind of a rounded window here more rounded than I first saw. And I'm gonna do this vintagey one and it does have a piece of metal that comes right down here through the center window, through the front window. Some of the newer ones don't, okay? 
And then we've got this big, beautiful V that obviously helps us to know what we're looking at, right? Sort of looks like the front of an airplane right now, too. <laughs> Doesn't it? It sort of does. There we go. All right, and then we've got these great lights here. And then some of these vintagey ones have these smaller lights right up here, which I kind of like. And then the VW emblem on the front. Some of these also have a tire on the front, which is kind of fun. And then this uh, fender, front fender. And it, some of these old ones have this piece of white that kind of sticks up and holds things together, which I kind of like. Gives it a cute, funny face. And we're going to put in kind of a visor in here as well, just because it's fun. Okay, and then the colors. Oh my gosh, happy, happy. Bright orange, bright yellow. Or depending on how we want to finish it, we can um, have the color come into play by what we're carrying. I'm going to put a rack on top. And bring the car in just a little bit so it looks more like a car and less like a jet airplane. <laughs> Here's our rack on top. And that's going to hold all of the things that we were taking with us. Or perhaps all the things that we found that we're bringing home. One or the other. Or both. We could actually do both. So... For fun. Here we go. We've got our fender going on down here. We've got our tires. These are our tires. Okay, sketching along with me. Simple shapes, you guys. Simple. Okay, and then on our rack, we can add the VW. It's not that complicated. That's just a, it's just a V on top. And then, this is the W part. Doo -doo -doo. Looks like a little heart. It looks like a lamb nose right there. So cute. Okay, and then it just has a big circle around it. We can kind of mess around with that. All right, so on top, on top is what I'm thinking. We're going to add all of our luggage, or we can just add big boxes full of wonderful, happy stuff. Perhaps they're all full of hearts. Valentine's, perhaps they're full of flowers. Perhaps this is going to the florist shop. It's full of flowers. I don't know. Or it could just be me and you with all of our luggage. <laughs> hey, I am learning to travel light. I am. That's something we're going to approach in this. Traveling lighter. Traveling brighter and traveling lighter. Okay, so we are just loading up. Look at this. How fun is this? We're just going to go up and up and up. And some of these will have big flowers. I'm not kidding. You can just put anything. If you want to put a bike up here, if you want to put your surfboard, because I know how much you love to surfboard in this winter. <laughs> Come on. You can put baskets full of wonderful things up here. Maybe this is just a big basket hanging out right here. Mix it up, mix it up, make it exactly what you want. And then we'll just keep, I don't even have to take out this line here. And then we'll just make this line that's going straight up the middle. Whoops, got so excited I threw my pencil. This will be a big old heart bow. Just a great big piece of ribbon or rope or something that we've used to hold all these boxes on. We probably should also tie it here to keep these boxes together. Maybe another big one here. Perhaps these are all black and white polka dot or stripe. Perhaps they're all the same color and our bus is bright orange or maybe it's light blue. There's so many fun varieties that we can use with this little guy. OK, 
Okay, so traveling brightly. We're just gonna load that up with color and it's gonna be so cute on our wood block. Check that out. That's gonna be so fun. Okay, first week of class, I can't wait, I can't wait. We're just gonna have the best time. So like I said, even if you don't choose to do wood blocks, we're gonna do so many fun sketches. This is a perfect class for if you need your, your spirit and your soul uplifted, if you need to do some fun, happy, colorful projects that have to do with our journey, just with me and you headed out on our journey. Wherever that is, whatever that is, even if we don't leave our house, okay? And I can't wait to see you. All right, love you, bye.